nickname is Nikki, but my name ain't Nicole. Name ain't Nicole. Thank you and you. back to my channel long time no see and i just took my hair out of a bun so it looked real crazy and that's fine um it's not gonna stay like this anyway um so i did a look like a couple weeks ago um i think i called it cherry blossoms or something something like that something or other and um i was asked that i recreate this look a lot of my facebook friends commented on the picture like oh you have to recreate it we need a video so that's what this video is however i must admit this look when i first did it I only used the ColourPop palette, but today I'm going to use that ColourPop palette as well as my Eddie Funkhauser Decadence palette because I feel like the shimmer shade in this palette is much lighter than the shimmer shade that I used from this because I did use the shimmer shade that's in here. So I'm going to be using all the same products, which is the Dream Street palette, my Beat But Won't Comment water, my loose highlighter from Drench Cosmetics as well, um, ColourPop Dukes. And cookie lipsticks together, uh, Fenty Trophy Life and the Fenty Gloss Bomb. I won't be showing that on camera. Well, wait, no, it's my lips. I will be showing that on camera. Um, the foundation, which I already did, is the LA Colors Truly Matte Foundation and the Mineral Powder. Um, I, uh, I have not done my concealer yet, but the concealer is going to be the Eddie Funkhauser 16 Hour Four Way Concealer in Medium. If you've been here for the last couple weeks or almost a month, You've seen that on my channel already. Um, I got it in a PR box, so I like I love that concealer, so I'm going to be using it. And I think, according to the details from the last picture, or from the picture that I took uh, April 4th, oh, this is a long time ago, um, those are all the details. And it is called Cherry, the look is called Cherry Blossom, okay. So, we're going to be doing that look again. So I need to look at this picture just to recreate the exact same way. I'm going to be doing this look again, and... Um, yeah, I won't be talking much during this video because, just a quick look, I have my brushes here. I am going to be using the mirror from this palette, but I'm not going to be using this palette. Just the two that I mentioned. I will go off camera to do the concealer and highlight and everything, come back and do the lips like I normally do, and then that should be it. So enough talking, let's get into this look. So since I have the Decadence palette, I'm not going to use the shimmers from this palette that I used last time but I am going to be using the same colors that I used last time. And those colors are, to set my concealer, I used the shade, um, this is either Magical or Stardust, I'm not sure, this shade right here because the sticker is wrong. And this is not the newer palette with the names on the inside, so. So this shade right here is the one I'm going to use to set my concealer. Real quick, real fast, I will do that on camera using my Morphe E14 brush. I, I use this brush to only set my concealer, so it, yeah doesn't get used a lot on camera because I usually do that before and someone's calling my phone I don't know who but they should not my hair is a hot mess today and that's fine well, it's not a hot mess I was working and yeah didn't really do too much to it but yeah and that's why Friday, there was no face chart Friday, because I had to work from 8 until, what time did I finish work? 4. And then at 4.30, I went to my grandmother's house to do my cousin's makeup for her prom. So, I, yeah, there was no time to do a face chart on Friday, which was sad. I might have to change it. No, I'm not going to change it because I don't have to do prom makeup this Friday, so I can still do it. Um, yeah, and then the next color I'm going to be using from this palette is called Potion. And that is this shade right here. And I'm going to be taking my floofy brush. It doesn't have a name, I bought it in Korea. So I can't really give much detail. My bangs are gonna be painted. I really do love this color though. Cause it reminds me of that, um, the clay that they use. I know I keep saying this about certain shades. But certain shades remind me of the clay they used a long time ago to make stuff. I don't know, you're probably looking like that looks messy. I blend it later. I don't blend it with this brush because this brush isn't, like, it's good at putting the color on and packing it in. But then trying to blend it out, this brush is uh, not that great. It's too, like, it's, it's way too soft to blend it out, if that makes sense. 
Like it's a great brush for packing color, but in terms of blending it out, I would not be using this brush to blend it out. If you've been here, you know what brush I'm going for. If you're new, I'm going for my Anastasia Beverly Hills brush that came with the um, prism palette that I have. This is what I use to blend out my colors. And if my brows look different today, it's because I had to mix, because I had like this much left, I had to mix my Benefit uh, Cabral with some co my ColourPop Brow Pomade because the Cabral is officially done now, which is sad and it breaks my heart because they're always sold out of the shade that I need. And then another thing I did for this look, well, I took that same shade, Potion, and I mixed it with, which is where the pinkish tint comes from. I mixed these two together. So what I did was, using this brush, I just did one, two in the Potion shade and then one in the Spark shade. And I just put it right there. Do it again one more time. Right there. And of course I'm gonna blend that out. I'm not gonna leave it like that. So it's one, two, and then once in Spark. Do it again. One, two, once in Spark. And then I take this brush and I blend it out. Now, Sir Eddie himself informed me that if you want any of these shimmer shades to pop more, any of them, you just take a little setting spray and wet the brush. I've been doing that since I got this palette, since he told me, and it works, and it's so pretty. So I'm going to be taking, what if I did, I can't tell you, where's my brush? What is my brush? Wait, wait, wait. Found it. Uh -huh. I'm going to take my Morphe. The number is completely gone. Except, no, the letter is, no, wait. M1 something, the double ended one that I always use. My setting spray from Colourpop. Shake it out, shake it out. And I'm going to be taking the shade, I have to find a shimmer shade that's similar to the shade that I used because when I did this look, I combined this shimmer shade, which is Mooney, I think, because it's number the stickers backwards. So Mooney, and then this one, which I believe is Sweet Dreams. I combined those two. And looking at the Decadence palette, the shade closest to Mooney would be... Because Mooney is light. So I would have to use Tipsy at Noon, which is right here. This shade here. And then the shade that's closest to Sweet Dreams would be Champagne Dreams. Wait, let's see. Mm. Yes, Champagne Dreams. So, Champagne Dreams. So I'm going to be taking these two together and putting them on my lid where I didn't put any color. So the eyes are almost done. I am going to go and do, 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 do my concealer and everything off camera. Then I'm going to come back for the lower lash line and the lips. And then we'll be done. And I'm back. As you can see, <coughs> I did a lot of stuff off camera. Um, to... I mean, the eye look is basically the same, but I'm not going to... I can't find my Drench Cosmetics loose highlighter. <laughs> So I'm going to just use the Eddie Funkhauser Love Glow Luminous Powder and my Hello Gregory um, Loose Highlighter because I cannot find, I don't know where it is, but um, I'm going to do that really quick on camera, but I didn't bring the brush, so I gotta get the brush. Now this is a blush brush, it is not a highlighter brush, I bought this in Korea, of course. Um, I use this brush though when I do my highlight on my cheeks and my forehead and my chin because it spreads everything out a lot better than my typical highlighting brushes do. So, uh, first things first, I'm going to take the Eddie Funkhauser Luminous Powder in the shade Love Glow. I got this in PR last week, last Friday. So, 
I'm going to be using this first. I'm not going to take a lot of it. I'm just going to coat the brush, dust it off, and like that. And then, same thing on the other side. Highlight my nose. Oh my god, I suck at life. Um, I need to get my life together. I didn't highlight my nose, so I'm just gonna take both Love Glow and um, the uh, Hello Gregory and put them on my nose as well. So we're done with Eddie. Oh my god, I didn't make a mess today. You can't make a mess in here. I did make a mess. Oh, baby. I'm about to make a mess now. And then I'm going to take the Hello Gregory. First, I'll do my nose since I have this little brush in my hand. And boom. Bam, boom. And now for the cheeks. And for the cheeks, I basically do the same thing I did with Eddie Von Gazer. because I like to be glowy. Why? I don't know. Now I use this brush for the cheeks, but then I also apply it under my eye, and for that I use this brush, which is Morphe's M531 brush. I think it's 531, or it's 351. It's one of those. And I use this to go directly under my eyes. However, there's a piece of hair in my eye. I don't know where it's from, but it's trying to, oh, my scarf, because the scarf is ancient. I had the scarf since university, college, sorry. Um, and um, that was back in 2009, 2010, when I was living on campus. So the scarf is old. And it looks real glowy, I know. Now, while I'm going to dry this, I am going to prepare for the lower lash liner. Oh, lower lash line color. Uh oh, I made it. I told you guys. I said it. I'm gonna make a mess now. I didn't make a mess for almost all of the video. And it waits till the end when I'm almost done with everything. Um, for the lower lash line, real simple. I'm going to go back into the Dream Street palette in that shade Spark. And that's what's going on first. Then I'll go to the Decadence palette for the shimmer shade Tipsy at Noon because that's the lightest shade. I'm going to bring it down. That's it. That's all. Now for the final step, it is the lips, and since this is basically Cherry Blossom 2.0, I upgraded the lip gloss, which is still Fenty Beauty, but is a lip luminizer in the shade Vaycray. But I still have my Dukes and Cookie and my Trophy Wife, which I'm going to finish Trophy Wife today, and that makes me sad.
I think in terms of recreating a look that I did myself, um, I did pretty good. I actually like this one a lot more than the first time I did it. And I think that's because the shimmer pops more. Like, the shimmer was really pretty in the original look. But it was like very soft shimmer, even though in the palette it doesn't look soft. I didn't wet it when I did it, that's why too. But today, after wetting the shimmer, and I don't know what is going on with here. That's not a curl. I put my hair in a bun and slept with my hair wet, and this is what we get. Okay. It has character. Um, and the shimmer is just better. It, I like this. I like this a lot. Even the lip came out better this time because you can see the the darker the liner the dukes that's what it's called dukes um you can see that a lot more now than when i did the first look and it just looks like my lips were pink for the most part which they weren't or they weren't supposed to look that way but i like this i like it a lot and i'm happy that's it that's all for this video any questions comments concerns you know where to leave them sorry um my nail thought it was cracked um any questions comments concerns you know where to leave them that was loud my apologies and i will see you all tomorrow because i'm gonna be filming oh, i'm gonna film it today but it's gonna go upload it tomorrow so i'll see you all tomorrow but you're gonna see this again it's not gonna be a makeup look it's going to be my end of the month like what i finished for this month or empties yeah it's an empties video <laughs> and that's it that's all bye